<laughs> Time to open the rise of Baphomet packs on. Ooh, it's red. Interesting. Oh, it has a nice little skull of a dragon, I presume. And it has like. What miniature dragon is on the side? Or the corners? Oh, they turn open. Cool. They have a red back. Oh, and they have the dragon things on them. Oh, there's a card back. Oh, fuck. I did that wrong. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, did they add it so, to tell you which one's a hollow? They made so it had gold text. Interesting. Dragon text. Um. In craft, uh, did I get any? In craft, some of the death sentence. Well, oh, he's sure nice looking, right? Mm hmm. No shadow craft cards, it seems. Gamba Ruby. We got another hollow flood behemoth. Flood craft. I like how his hand is like vibrating. Interesting. He's coming to deal one damage to all end fellas and clash with the new mechanic. Um and then there's the other mechanic which is like what evolution or something? Starts with something. Put a random two play point forward from your deck into your hand. I can see that being useful. Oh wait, fuck. Oh god damn it. The halls in this one's voices of resentment. I think that's the new one. That's the core shadowcraft. Uh, seven two ghosts. That's right. And then enhance is what I think now. Well, gives summon ghosts. Get a bane, which means kill them instantly. Art of the ninja lurching corpse. Hmm. I can see that being somewhat useful in another goblin mage. Oh wow, two um, gold. And I saw Luxor and so I'm like, oh, I like that card. It looks so pretty for unicorn bunny ears. Um, Havencraft Rush cannot receive more than three damage at a time, so at least you can get two hits in if you involve it three hits in. Maybe more, maybe less. So she have a heal card on there. Uh, Swordcraft put a guilt vice cap into your hand, then changes cost to zero if at least three enemy followers are in play. So commander in play. So you can try to combo it if they have a large board. Mysterious levels of Dun da da. Whoops, god damn it. I like that card, Hamsa. Look at that. Hamsa. Gain X, X, plus X plus zero. X equals the attack of the strongest enemy follower in play. What an interesting card. <laughs> Luxwing Reno. The one damage to the enemy leader. The one damage to the enemy leader. If you evolve it in class again. Okay. Master Sage is having everything. So it's not going to transfer the ball out of the animals. That can be good for um, Seraph. Embrace Seraph. Okay, I want to double check if it's Gino or Ueno. Uh, Pegasus Elf. Change an enemy follower's defense to one. Do one damage from an enemy follower. Okay, so you can do a lovely little combo here. That's cool. I saw like some of the preview of the cards on the website. But then you like go to what crazy looking at another Craig Wizard of Mysteria. I like how you can at least identify them now instead of just having to look at them. Okay, Fina. 
Then we have two. Oh. Okay, no. Okay. That's interesting. I'll definitely try to look and see what I can do with a uh, goblin mage. Aha! I got a legendary Sahak wheel. Hell yeah. Amazing. Put a neutral feller from your hand into the to play, give it rush, and return it to your hand at the end of your turn. Yeah. I, I can see this being useful in that one dragon deck where, um, what was it? Um, they did like Uriel with that 5 1 rush, or not, or storm card where they just like spam it, and you could probably do the same thing. I don't think it's abilities would activate. I think I'm using it with the Rhinoceros card. Would that finally want to work? Here's a fresh one. Your hand that costs four play, four play points or less and changes cost to zero. I can see that well for working in a combo card. Of course, the ultimate carrot. I saw that card. That was a funny card to see. But yay, I got the Huck Wheel. Yay. Uh, nothing good in this pack. Oh, I think this is the one where you drop three cards. Oh, no, never mind. My decision is I put three different countdown amulets that cost two play points or less. So it was the three cost, the three cards I was thinking of, drop three cards. Um, Sword Ship made, deal damage to all the cards of an ally commander is in play. Last pack of this bunch, we still have five packs open. Uh, really similar cards, only a different one thing is you're kind of playing it. Gain an empty play or draw three cards, restore three health to your leader. That has a lot of effects. I can see that being somewhat useful. Yeah, I got the Hawk Wheel Avatar. Let me buy, use the last five packs. And you're like, oh, why don't you just do the uh, auto animation? Like, but you don't get to see my reactions, and it's like, oh, look at all these new cards. I like, so like how they jump out at you when they open a legendary. Haha! <laughs> right, when I say that, one appears. Imperial Dragoon. Um, okay, so... Let's see what this is. Um, Imperial Dragoon. Fanfare, discard your hand and deal X damage to all enemies. X equals the number of cards discarded. Dragon Cat. Ah, shit. I was going to say. I was going to say if this is. Hi, Blue TF. I was going to say if this was for Forest Craft, I could see this card being pretty abused. But nope. It's not for that. How are you, Blue TF? And I'll switch over to the chat thing after doing this. I'm recording it as well. Comes in and goes, ah, shit. Yes. Good start. FMH7819 is the normal name. Okay. Welcome. Go for a kitten. Uh, ice cream. Morphine. I'm not sure. That whenever his father attacks and destroys an enemy, if his father is not destroyed, to draw a card. Okay. And then, you yeah, so much, put a crimson, oh, more crimson sorcery stuff. So, Time Mage Levy, or Levi, whatever one pronounce it as. Mastema, how are you guys? Did you just log in as well? They can only attack the enemy leader and followers with ward. I think I'm getting any... Shadowcraft cards, which is upsetting. Like Bloodcraft, Redcraft, Swordcraft, <sighs> and Neutral. Darn it. Runecraft, Panther, Planet, Earth Essence into your hand. More Earth Essence stuff. Ah, cool. I <laughs> rest in peace, Blue TF. I apologize. I've opened only the fifteen and gone two legendary. I didn't keep track of how many golds I have. Um, I can probably go check and see after this. Oh, another hollow. 
Oh, I think it's the same hollow as the previous. Oh wait, <laughs> I didn't get the last one. Uh, is there still there's one shadow craft, but not really many shadow craft cards. And then one of Luigi and I think I got two of those animated ones. Last pack will it be good. Gone by Ruby. Um, Shadow Reaper. Panther gain ambush until the enemy opponent's turn. Whenever an hour followers is destroyed, gain plus one, plus one. And then an enemy of that. I know Elf Prince. Ah, uh, Shadowcraft. Where one of the strongest enemy followers can play and then restore X defense to your leader. X equals the destroyed followers attack. I can see that being useful. Uh, oh, I think this is another shadow crack, yep. That's one. Cool. I think I got two going on one pack. Imperial Jagoon. I think I can go check and see what I got exactly. Um. Uh, off. Oh, I was, I was like looking like, eh, which one is it? Which one is it? Okay, so, so, so we got one gold. And eh, let's organize it like this. Gold, legendary. Oh wow, that sounds a lot. So I got one, two, three, five gold and two legendaries. The last pack, press skip. Ah, uh, that's what you do. I like to have an essence of surprise of that. Stopping recording. More packs. Oops. They're having a deal where it's. Uh, for New Year's, they're giving away, I believe it's 1100 uh, rupees, so you can buy many packs. It's 500 for today, then 200 for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and the day after. Although, well, technically, I think it's supposed to be for New Year's Eve in Japan. But I don't, I don't think I've ever gotten this one. Agent's Lion Spirit deals 2 damage to all enemy followers. Hmm. Crystal Lily Forest Craft transform an ally into a snowman. Oh, an enemy follower. Never mind. Why did I say ally? Dragon Tamer give an ally follower. Plus, oh yeah, I already got that one. Uh, I can see Crystal Lily Lily work. Ice Blade Warfiend. Rush. When this follower attacks and destroys an enemy follower, if this follower is not destroyed, draw a card. I think I got this one before. I can't see this being. I think I already got one of her. Another Aifa. Underworld Watchman Quahi. I really like that card. That's helped me a lot since I've been using him. I, I've already gotten one Monica Cloud Hall Admiral. I believe. Oh, wait, I don't think I have Lyriel though. Do one damage to an enemy. I may have, I may have not, I don't remember. And then Luck Swing, I can add that. I like using that card and having it on the field. Pan for Summer Night, deal X damage to an X to the color to play. Yeah, they have one of her. I got a second Aurelia last night. So I've been meaning to try that deck out. So I was playing against someone who kept using Dragon Claw Pendant. It was an interesting deck. He almost won. Tribunal of Good and Evil. Yeah, I saw this uh, in a highlight from Kriparian. What happened was some guy played Bahamut, but uh, Kriparian had that amulet on the field. And since Bahamut destroys all other cards, what happened was since that card was destroyed, the amulet, it also destroyed Bahamut. So it's funny to see. Mariana the Jewel. Oh, 
Okay, this can, I can see this being good. Come on, legendary. Let's get a legendary in the last pack. Nope. Got a hollow dragon claw pendant though. Hollow Cosicus. Extraordinary power. Oh. I was playing so many kept using this card, it pissed me off. Cause yeah, five point thirteen thirteen. If it was a Prince of Darkness deck, I can totally understand. <sighs> but making this a neutral card for everyone to use is like stupid. It seems interesting that all the angels are able to like deal damage or draw cards. Interesting touch. Um I don't actually I haven't done my uh hit cards, look at extras. Twenty seven so almost 1,980, technically. Uh, what legendaries do I have again? Oh, wait. Collection. Okay. I know I need more Cerberus. I haven't tried Imperial Dragon yet, even though I put it in the deck yesterday and started playing that. Um, the one card I'm probably going to create is... It's... Oh. Neptis. Oh, you have to unlock her to get it? Damn. Okay, yeah. I want to try this and see if I can do a last words deck. Because that's what this is. Randomly put followers of all the different classes, excluding Neptis. From your deck into play until your area is full and destroy those followers. So it's basically going to be good for um, last word cards. I think the best card that would synergize well with at this is uh, this one. Do, do, do. Mordecai to Duelist. Last word, summon a Mordecai to Duelist. So it's just basically a constant spawning of it. It's similar to Dreadsteed and Hearthstone. Um, and Sarlacc the Eternal on Duelist. Uh, did they change him? I heard he cha they changed him, but I'm not too sure. Uh, anyway, I can see this being useful for that. So I really want to try out that deck. So yeah. Anyway. Do do do.